So it's a very important time as spring is on the 20th of March coming up now. So it's a really, really important time to get your property ready for market. So a lot of, well, the busiest time of year is obviously March, April, May. That's when everybody puts their house on the market, start of spring towards the 20th. So I always say it's very, very important to get your property ready now. Just due to the fact, because every supply goes up <clears throat> when you're going on the market on from the 20th of March all the way up to May. So it's really important if I would, if it was me, get your property on beforehand so you still have that kind of um, competitiveness and uh, that edge of your competitors to get your property sold. People start to sell their property now just due to the fact now longer days, people are starting to view properties more just due to the fact when people finish work now they can actually go after work to these properties, have a little nose instead of being pitch black and they can't see anything. So it's really, really important now people start to look for houses. So it's really good that you get your property now. A lot of people right now are thinking, shall I sell, shall I buy and think they're in a cat 22? But it's really important to speak to your estate agent about it and just set everything straight. So when you go to sell your property, you know, we can control it and you'll have plenty of time to find, you know, sell your property, but find something else to go on to and you have plenty of time there. So what I mean by this then is if we are um, selling a property, you know, we tell all procedural buyers, look, this is the situation of the buyer, uh, the owner. They are looking to do this, that and that, X, Y and Z. So they are told and their expectations are set. And then when we get all the offers, you know, we can have a look to see who is the most flexible for you and are able to wait around for you to find a property. Obviously not too long, but not, uh, you know, when's that one to go, 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 go. So it's really important that we get someone like that for you so we can control the process and help you with signing your next property also. When picking your uh, Swansea estate agent, tip number two, is don't just go with the agent that's just going to give you a price that's sky high compared to everybody else, which is giving figures around here. So you've got to be thinking, well, why are they so much more than the other agents? Obviously, there's a reason for that. Have they just plucked the figure out of thin air? Or um, is there actual comparables out there to say why it's worth that amount? Um, so speak to that agent and say, look, give me comparables. I want to see why you said it's this amount. Obviously, everybody wants more money. At the end of the day, we don't set the price. The surveyors do. So if we put it too much and somebody's got a mortgage, they are going to downvalue it to the price that is for the market or comparables have sold in the area, relevant comparables. So that is an absolutely essential. So when you're picking your estate agent, have a look at the contracts, see what time, you know, kind of contract length you're in, tied in for. Some are none, some are 12, 10, average is about 12 for the UK, and some go up to 20 weeks, which is absolutely absurd. So be careful of that, or you're tied in for about six months, uh, it's five to six months. Also as well, look at the market and the agents, what they've sold uh, recently in the area, look at their reviews, so you can go through every single step so you know how the agent is and how they can, what they can do to sell your property in particular, which makes a massive difference. A huge tip as well with selling your property, speaking to agents, is looking at the availability of the agent. Are they an agent which just typically works from nine to five, Monday to Friday, and then maybe till 12 o'clock on a Saturday? Um, so have a look, speak to them, have a look at their opening times and when they can answer the phone. Because uh, this makes a huge difference because um, I found, and speaking to people as well, they're trying to call um, an estate agent to book in for a view and ask questions about a particular property in mind. But because it's a Sunday, they didn't answer the phone and um, it just goes to the answer machine. They don't leave a message and in the end then they don't bother going back to the property. But if it's another agent which is a bit more flexible, which will answer the phone on a Sunday, one, they'll be surprised. But two, they can help them out and go through everything with them. And then they're more likely to book in a viewing. So that one person that might have missed out on having a viewing on your property in particular is the one that made the offer and you've got a good offer on the table. They're flexible and uh, they're in a great position and you can go from there. Third tip is spring cleaning. So obviously get your property prepared for market. So it, for photos, the viewings and things like that, this makes an absolutely massive difference having your property photo ready and viewing ready for when you go into the market. Just due to the fact things like cleaning the windows, um, sounds like a little, uh, just a little thing to do, but makes a massive difference when selling your property. Just due to the fact more natural light comes into the property, seems lighter. Obviously, getting rid of things that are on the floor and things like that, more spacing seat, the better. The property seems even more spacious, which is brilliant. You want to promote uh, features of the property. So if you have a look at photos of the estate agents, if you've got a nice, lovely fireplace, you want a photo of that. If you've got a south facing garden, obviously you want that on the details. You want to show the size of the garden, the size of the rooms and any other features you've got on the property which need to be on the photos and also that translates onto the video you have of the property as well then. 
so they can go back and forth and see what the property's got to offer and why you're paying that amount. Tip number four is get all your documents ready for going on the market. So this is vitally important because you're thinking, right, I've got my property ready for market with photos, got the videos done, goes on the market now, but hold up, you need to get your documents sorted as well. So what do I mean by this? So if you've had any, um, you know, go warranties or guarantees, have those in place and get them ready to give to your solicitors. So when it goes under offer, then there's no bottleneck or delays from your end because uh, you're scouring around the house trying to find these uh, paperwork that needs to be sorted. So definitely get those done. And if you've had any work done or you know, change any windows and things like that, have a look to see if you get the fence certificates and stuff like that because this makes a massive difference. So when you've done everything on the air end, sent it over to the buyers, the ball's in their court, and then at least, you know, peace of mind, you've done everything on your side to keep the um, obviously sale going as smoothly as possible. And tip number five, are you actually ready to sell your property? So you need to be 100% certain you want to sell your property. Otherwise, you'll be going down the line, obviously dealing with some things which are difficult and a little bit stress worthy in regards to the sale, which is always a little bit of stress. We're obviously here to take it off, off you, but there will always be a little bit there. But uh, then you start to question, do I actually want to sell on my property? Is it worth it? So always make sure that you really want to. Obviously, when I come out to the property or other agents, we'll obviously discuss it with you. I'm not going to push you to just come on the market. We'll discuss your um, situation, exactly what you're doing and why you want to sell. You know, and if, if I feel like you're not really wanting to sell your property, then I'll discuss it with you and see, look, it may not be the best time for you to sell now. Get X, Y, and Z sorted first. And then if you want to in the future, then you can come back to me. But at least you know the valuation for your property and little things you can do, nitty gritty things you can do to get your property ready for market when you come on in the future. So yeah, there are your tips for getting your property ready for um, going on springtime. All these are vitally important. If you do all these, it can really help you uh, get into the best kind of, obviously setting a foundation for selling your property and getting the best possible price. If you've got any questions though, my details are on the screen and I'm really happy to help you with any questions you've got and uh, we'll help you get through the process. Cheers.